Okay, so all these electronic drummers, they all play the drum machine designer. And I can't get into it in any depth here, um, but I'm preparing a tutorial showing you the principle of how it all works, how to build your own kits and everything like that. And you won't really be able to get into that unless you understand the principle of track stack. So my advice is to look it on our channel and watch the full tutorial about track stacks, particularly the last part, which explains how to make ultra beat track stacks for drum machines, right? Okay, so we open the drum machine designer from the icon here at the bottom of the drummer's panel, or from the drum machine designer slot there at the top of the stereo channel for the track. Okay, let's open it up. Boom. There it is, drum machine designer. And it's not an instrument, okay? It's a very clever overlay that sits on top of Ultrabeat. All right. Now, the top half, and, and this is the default view, which you can get back to any time by clicking the icon here at the top. That takes you back to the default stereo kit view. You know, the, the master kit view. Um, at the top, we've got all the pads, and each of these pads is connected to an Ultrabeat voice. There's two pages of them. Some of them are going to be empty, which where there aren't ultra beat voices for those pads, right? Okay, now the pads flash when they're triggered. Any pad can be muted. And any pad can be soloed. All right. Then at the bottom here, in this default view, you've got smart controls. Now, if we open the smart controls at the bottom for the track, they're duplicated, right? So the, the smart controls here in this default kit view are the same as the smart controls for the track, but they're just on the panel here on the drum machine designer. Okay, um, let's close the smart controls. So this is an overlay that sits on top of Ultrabeat, okay? And it's all based around an Ultrabeat track stack. But with these drum machine designer track stacks, there is a stack, but on the track area here, there. This is the group bus for the whole kit, but it doesn't have a stack you can open out inside which are all the separate outs, each with their own track. The stack, however, is in the mixer. If we open up the mixer, what we get is the stereo channel for the drum machine designer. And obviously this is a copy of the one in the inspector column there. All right. So this is the entire kit in stereo. Okay, now, if we open this out, boom, like that, there's the stack. Okay, and just like any stack based around an ultra beat, inside the stack, the first channel is the actual ultra beat instrument. There it is at the top, ultra beat. And this is the first pair of outs. And it's got the plus minus button to add and take away additional outs. So that's the first pair of outs and the ultra beat instrument itself. And then every other output is a separate out with an, with an individual voice on it. And each out has got EQ and effects. Okay. Now, every single drum output, individual drum output in the kit, they're all grouped to these six group buses there. Okay. So all the kicks come to the kick bus, all the snares and claps to the snares and claps bus, all the hats to the hats bus, all the toms to the tom bus, all the percussion and shakers to the percussion and shakers bus and all the symbols and effects to the symbols and effects bus okay and then finally you've got an internal kit stack delay and an internal kit stack reverb now everything in the stack the original ultra beat channel output one two all, whoop, all the separate outs which are then grouped down to these group buses Right, and the internal delay and reverb, right? Everything is rooted to this final stereo group bus. So this is the kit in stereo. Okay, and you can compact it like that, boom, and open it like that. Okay, so on the actual drum machine designer, you get to this default view by clicking on the icon at the top. If you if you're not in the default view. And so what, you'll, what you've got is the smart control panel at the bottom. These six mix controls, each one with a mute, on and off, right? These control the volume of 
the six major buses into which all the outputs of all the different instruments are grouped. Right? So this is the kick bus control, controlling the kicks, snare and claps, hats, toms, percussion and shakers, cymbal and effects, right? Okay, so that's what they control, and you can mute them as well, or bring them back in. Okay, so that's what these smart controls control. And then the smart controls here on the right, they control multiple parameters of effects on the final group bus, the stereo channel for the track. Okay, um, so you can open the plugins on this final stereo out, the, the channel for the track, by just right clicking on one of the smart controls, open the plugin. Okay, so this is the channel EQ at the top of this stereo channel for the track, and you've got a high cut filter and a low cut. Okay, that's that one and then you've got on the right here there'll be always the kit delay as far as I've seen anyway the kit delay and the kit reverb and again these control multiple parameters of the stereo delay and the stereo reverb strapped across the the, the group bus for the, for the whole kit in stereo so this is the delay controls the delay for the whole stereo kit okay and this is for the reverb. Again, this is the reverb on the final stereo out for the whole kit. All right. And then the two internal parts, they'll control, depending on the kit, multiple parameters of some of the other effects going across this final stereo out for the whole kit. Okay, the main kit channel. Okay, now, there's a second page of smart controls at the bottom here, when you're in this default kit view. These are the sends and these are connected to the group buses. Yeah, these group buses. Every drum output is routed to these group buses, right? By category. Okay. So these sends for the sending to the delay and the reverb control these sends on the group buses which send to the internal delay and the internal reverb. Right, so this is the kick auxiliary send one, sending to the delay for the kick bus. And this is the second auxiliary send on the kick bus, sending to the reverb. Okay. So these allow you to add send, reverb and delay to the sent out from these group buses into which all the drum outputs are submixed into, into the categories, right? That's how that works. Boom. Okay. And that, that's the default view for the whole kit. Um, now, if you click on an individual drum, boom, like that, then, and select its pad, then here, you see the smart controls for that voice. And these smart controls are connected, some of them are connected to parameters of the ultrabeat synthesis for the voice that this that is on this pad and some of them are connected to the effects on the output for that voice. Okay, so click on the icon at the top, go back to the main kit view. So when you're seeing the main kit view, over here in the inspector column, you see the main channel for the whole kit, and on the right, the destination channel it's going to, which is the main stereo out of Ultra Beats Mixer. And in the library, you see all the kits, and you can change kit here. So any drummer can play any kit, just choose a different kit, okay? But when you click on an individual, click on an individual out pad and select it, boom like that. Now, you still see the main stereo out for the whole kit on the left here, but on the right you see the individual out for that voice, that pad. So this is the snare out, ultra bit output five six. There's the effects on it, okay. And these smart controls control a combination of parameters of these effects and parameters of the synthesis in the ultra beat for that voice. And when you select a voice in the library, it switches to the category that that voice is in. And so I've got the snare selected, so here are all the drum machine designer snares. If I choose a tom pad, these are the controls for the tom. This is the output for the tom. And here in the library is all the toms for drum machine designer. And you click on one of these and change it to a different tom. And each one of these 
Drum machine designer drum presets divided into kicks, snares, hats, cymbals, toms, claps, shakers, percussion and effects. Each one of these is a combination of an ultra-beat voice, sample and synthesis, plus all the effects on its output. And altogether, the combination of the output effects and the particular voice and sample all go together to make that drum voice, which you load into a pad. Okay, And that's how it works, basically. All right? um, and yes, you can build your own kits. Okay, This is the default after-party kit for Julian. And I click on the icon at the top to go back to the default kit view for the drum machine designer. And I can choose from here now any drum machine designer kit. But if I go to the user patches, here's one I built. This is DMD, drum machine designer. That's what I called it. This is a custom 909 kit I built, so boom, I load it. And now Julian is playing my custom 909 kit. Okay, and all the controls work and everything, I'll choose the kick. Here's the controls, um, the volume and the pan, by the way, on the controls for each individual, individual drum, always controls the volume and the pan on the channel output for that drum. Right. Okay, so, this is my custom line and kit, but the controls work. This is the pitch, you know. Yeah. Etc. Okay, you can build your own kits absolutely with your own samples, whatever you like. Okay, so that's it. You know, that's the drum machine designer. It's clever. It's a clever overlay that sits on top of Ultra Beat, and I'm working on a tutorial for that, which will be with you in a few days. Okay. Um. So that's the drum machine designer. Oh yeah, one thing to note, of course, the drum machine designer can be put onto a regular software instrument track. It doesn't have to be played by these drummer patterns. And if you've, you know, used the editor to tweak um, a drummer region and get a good pattern that you like, you can just right-click on that drummer region and convert to MIDI region. Okay, if you don't see that at the top, it'll be here, convert, convert to MIDI region. And just, boom, it converts it into MIDI. And then the editor down here, auto, if it's open, automatically switches um, to show the MIDI notes in the editor. And if we just switch into drum names view, then we've got lovely drum editor and all the names in the particular drum machine designer kit that, that is on this track are here listed. These are the actual names. Okay, and you combine that with the, the brush tool and you're laughing. Okay, but you know, if I make a new track, a software instrument track rather than a drummer track, okay, I can now go to drum machine, drum machine designer, load up any drum machine designer kit. Boom, load up the Ibiza kit and you know pencil in the region and I'm straight into building my own drum pattern in MIDI for that drum machine designer kit and all the names are listed exactly as they are in the kit. Yeah? Bish bash bosh, okay. <laughs>